here we are in the house. And really, they started working on the house last week. And so here you got boards. This is the remnants of the bathroom from upstairs in my front room. Doors, windows, wall open. Here they've removed the windows in the front of our house. They're going to put new windows there. And they've actually reframed this area already. It's pretty cool. Up top, that's the LVL beam that replaces the giant crack beam we had before. Those are the windows we're going to put in. It's also 107 degrees uh, wind, uh, heat index right now, so <laughs> even though there's nobody here, they're still, still running the fans, no big surprise. Now we're going to go up the stairs, and you'll see that they've covered every stair and all the floor because they're doing all this work and they don't want to hurt the hardwood floors. They've decided that they have to remove this part of my roof also because it's too low, and they're going to put it up several feet or several inches. So you can kind of see the difference in height there. That is a bedroom closet just going over the top of the wall here. Here you can see I had a there was a door in this hallway that was eventually sealed over. This is where they've redone the chimney. I, this is new to me. I didn't know that they had done this yet. Here's Sophia's bedroom with some temp posts holding up the roof that's not done yet. Everything's tarped. kind of cool to see the insides. So here we're magically looking through one wall into Sophia's closet, into the bathroom, and into my bedroom, all the way across. Until they've torn much of the wall off. That space right there, that rectangular space, is where the window goes to the bathroom that was crushed at our house. And here you can see new, all new frame. All brand new frame. Sorry, the light on the camera keeps changing around because it's light and then dark and then light and then dark. About 80% of our roof was replaced. One of the benefits of <laughs> of having a bunch of trees fall in your house is that you can then say, it sure would be nice to have three prong electric electricity. So here you can see this is where an outlet was that was two prong, but when they replace it, they'll replace it with a three prong grounded outlet. And this is the closet we're looking over the top top at from the stairwell over there. Uh, these guys are really starting to make progress on, on the house. It's only been a week. And if it does not rain tomorrow and the next day, they started this week, and we'll have a new roof shingled and everything by the weekend. So you can really see the speed now. You can really see things changing.